I do not know what made your heart burst with love, but I have pictured how the blood flowed through your heart. I do not know what life dreams you had, but I have traced your nerves to see how it was possible for your brain to realize them. I do not know what moments in your life made you sigh with relief or in despair, but I have touched the lungs that held that breath. As I look at the temple that housed your distant soul, I stand in silence and reflect for a moment. I had no idea where you had been, what you had seen, or what you have done, nor what you were thinking. But you had made a choice to teach me and never speak a word. My classmates and I have learned so much from your silent lectures, and as I conclude my reflection, I am honored to acknowledge your selfless act. When individuals are asked, why will you donate your body? They give answers such as these. I want to help others even when I'm no longer here. I want to further scientific research. I feel like I didn't do enough for people in life, so I want to do something for people in death. Dealing with cadavers as donors and individuals who had loved ones, families, and careers is becoming even more imperative than being first patients or teachers. They have donated and trusted their most precious and generous gift for advancing medical knowledge. And all the sweet hearts that e'er I had would wish me one more day to stay. Patients are not problems to be solved. They're people in need of healing based on science and extended beyond science. Anatomy is the basics of our knowledge for our professions. It's extremely important for us to learn from these individuals. You came to take me for a walk with you. I was afraid at first to meet you, to take your hand. I pretended you were here to teach me the details. Muscles, arteries, nerves, and I held on tight. At this memorial, we give thanks to those who lay before us in the laboratory for the lessons we learned from their bodies. And we also thank them for generating the desire within us to wonder about them and their lives 